The UW is deeply committed towards research that eliminates health disparities. And to move in that direction, we need to uncover the mechanisms for why disparities occur, really get to their roots. And in order to do so, we have to embrace next generation research methods that allow us to do things like link cells to society and neurons to neighborhoods. This opens the door for new precision medicine therapies, new clinical interventions, and new social policies that hopefully can make a big difference. It's research that's really targeted towards action. The new Center for Health Disparities Research will be based at University Hospital, and with the new funding that we've received, we will be hiring 30 new personnel in order to drive this initiative forward. Yes, so I um, am the director, the founding director for the center, and joining me are two deputy directors, uh, Dr. Barbara Bendland, who is a professor of medicine here at the University of Wisconsin. She has a background in neuroscience. Uh, uh, and Dr. Gilmore Bykoski, who is an assistant professor at our School of Nursing and is an expert in health equity. Yes, so one of the center's big accomplishments of late is we were just awarded a $28.5 million R01 from the National Institutes on Aging, one of the branches of the National Institutes on Health to examine the social exposome or the social determinants of health at the contextual level across an entire lifetime for individuals who have been affiliated with 22 Alzheimer's disease research centers across the United States. UW is the lead site on this very large grant. It's one of the largest grants ever awarded in this area. Um, so we're very, very pleased. And we see this as the foundation towards a whole host of other studies learning how the environment links to our cells and ultimately produces both wellness and disease. Uh, the social exposome is the idea that all of the factors that you experience across your, your life influence your health all the way down to the cellular level. So where you live, um, the, the air you breathe, the uh, social interactions you have, they all impact your health and well-being. I think the fact that we competed successfully for this grant shows that, um, that opportunities for gender equality continue to move forward at the University of Wisconsin in a way that's, that's really um, wonderful. So uh, it, is, it is truly a wonderful, wonderful honor. It is uh, fantastic to work with the team that I get to work with, and I hope we can uh, inspire other young girls to be able to move forward in the science fields in order to make the world a better place in whatever way they decide to do it.